Hello class 9 students I hope everyone is studying so this is our lecture number 3 of the chapter structure of the atom so here we will discuss about Niels Bohr atomic model and electronic configuration In order to explain the stability of atom and overcome the objection against Rutherford's model of atom Niels Bohr gave a new arrangement of electrons in the atom in 1913 Uh, so now see here in order to explain the stability of atom and to overcome the objection against Rutherford's model of atom Niels Bohr he gave a new arrangement of electrons in the atom in the year 1913 so Niels Bohr explained the stability of atom clear now see this is the scientist Niels Bohr he was born in Copenhagen on 7th October 1885 He was appointed professor of physics at Copenhagen University in 1960. He got a Nobel Prize for his work on the structure of atom in 1922. Uh, so Niels Bohr he got a Nobel Prize for his work on structure of atom. Now among the professor Bohr's numerous writings, three appearing as books are so his three famous books are The Theory of Spectra and Atomic Constitution. The second book is atomic theory and the third book is the description of nature all right now let us see bohr's model of atom in order to overcome the objections raised against rutherford's model of the atom niels bohr put forward the following postulates about the model of an atom now see here what are the postulates that were forwarded by niels bohr in order to overcome the objections which was raised against Rutherford's model of the atom. So the first postulate is only certain special orbits known as discrete orbits of electrons are allowed inside the atom. So now inside the atom only certain special orbits which is known as discrete orbits of electrons are only allowed inside the atom. Clear? Now see here these orbits or cell are called energy level. So these are all energy level. All right? Now while revolving in discrete orbits the electrons do not radiate energy. Now uh, while revolving around the discrete orbits the electrons they do not radiate energy. Okay now see here these orbits or cells are represented by the letters K L M N or the numbers n equal to 1 to 3 4 etc. All right so these cells are represented as K L M N etc and numbers as n equal to 1 to 3 4 now see here there is a limit to the number of electrons which is energy level can hold okay so there is a limit to the number of electrons in which the energy level can hold now see here the maximum number of electrons which can be accommodated in any energy level of the atom is given by 2n square where n is the number of that energy level So now see here the maximum number of electrons uh, which can be accommodated in any energy level of the atom it is given by this formula 2n square Now let us see here uh, so k cell which is the first cell so for here n value is n value is 1 okay so n into 1 square equal to 2 now second cell that is the l cell here n value is 2 so 2 into 2 square equal to 8 and in m cell which is the third cell so 2 into 3 square equal to 18 and in the n cell which is the fourth cell so its n value is 4 so 2 into 4 square equal to 32 now see here the maximum number of electrons can accommodate in the k cell is 2 in l cell it is 8 in m cell it is 18 and in n cell it is 32 Now we will see the electronic configuration of first 18 elements. Composition of atoms of the first 18 elements with electron distribution in various cells. Now see the first element that is hydrogen whose distribution of electrons is 1. Uh, so hydrogen has got one electron and it gets filled in the first cell. Now see the second element that is helium whose distribution of electrons is 2. So helium has got two electrons and the two electrons it gets filled in the first cell now see the third element that is lithium whose distribution of electrons is 2,1 so in case of lithium 
as you can see here the first cell it is already gets filled up because we know that in the first cell only maximum two electrons can accommodate it. so the third electron it gets moved to the second cell clear now see the fourth element that is beryllium whose distribution of electrons is 2 comma 2 so this is the electronic distribution of beryllium in the cells where the first two electrons are filled in the first cell and the rest two electrons are filled in the second cell now see boron whose atomic number is 5 and the distribution of electrons is 2 comma 3 so here in case of boron the first two electrons are filled in the first cell and the rest three electrons are filled in the second cell next see carbon whose atomic number is 6 and the distribution of electrons is 2 comma 4 uh, so here the first two electrons are filled in the first cell and the rest four electrons are filled in the second cell next see uh, nitrogen whose atomic number is 7 and their distribution of electrons is 2 comma 5 so this is the uh, electronic distribution of nitrogen in the cells then see oxygen whose atomic number is 8 and the distribution of electrons is 2 comma 6 so in the first cell there are two electrons and in the second cell there are six electrons next element is fluorine whose symbol is f atomic number is 9 and the distribution of electrons is 2 comma 7 so in case of fluorine the first cell is filled with two electrons and the second cell is filled with seven electrons then see neon whose symbol is any atomic number is 10 and the distribution of electrons is 2 comma 8 uh, so in case of neon the first cell is filled with uh, two electrons and the second cell is filled with eight electrons then see sodium whose symbol is na atomic number is 11 and the distribution of electrons is 2 comma 8 comma 1 now see in case of sodium the first cell is filled with two electrons and the second cell is filled with eight electrons and the third electron is filled with one electron now see in case of uh, sodium the second cell is filled with 8 electrons so we know that in second cell only maximum 8 electrons can accommodate so the remaining one uh, electron it gets moved to the third cell clear everyone then see magnesium whose symbol is mc atomic number is 12 and the distribution of electrons is 2 comma 8 comma 2 so uh, in the first cell there are two electrons in the second cell eight electrons and in the third cell the remaining two electrons all right then see aluminium whose symbol is al atomic number is 13 and the distribution of electrons is 2 comma 8 comma 3 so in case of aluminium the first cell is filled with two electrons the second cell is filled with eight electrons and the third cell is filled with uh, rest of the three electrons then see silicon whose atomic number is 14 and its symbol is si the distribution of electrons is 2 comma 8 comma 4 so this is the electronic distribution of a silicon in the cells next see phosphorus whose symbol is p atomic number is 15 and the distribution of electrons is 2 comma 8 comma 5 here the first cell is filled with two electrons the second cell is filled with eight electrons and the third cell is filled with five electrons then see sulfur whose symbol is s and the atomic number is 16 the distribution of electrons is 2 comma 8 comma 6 so this is the electronic distribution of a sulfur in the cells then we will see chlorine whose symbol is cl atomic number is 17 and the distribution of electrons is 2 comma 8 comma 7 so in case of chlorine the first cell is filled with two electrons the second cell is filled with eight electrons and the third cell is filled with seven electrons lastly we will see argon whose atomic number is 18 symbol is ar and the distribution of electrons is 2 comma 8 comma 8 so in case of argon the first cell is filled with two electrons and the second and third cell is filled with eight electrons is all right so am i clear to you students this is done for today's uh, lecture number three